Hello YouTube, this is Hank here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize Windows 11 so it runs blazingly fast. This video is going to be a free way of optimizing Windows 11. We're not going to deal with any hardware upgrades or anything like that because I'm keeping this how to do things for free without adding hardware to your computer. With that being said, I do want to consider People, if you're running Windows 11 in 2025, I strongly recommend you run off a solid state drive instead of a hard drive. That's the only thing about hardware I recommend right now. And you can look into the, doing that by my other video on how to upgrade using a, uh, how to upgrade your hard drive to an SSD. I have videos on how to do that. This video is dedicated on what you can do to optimize Windows 11 so it runs blazingly fast so you get the most out of your computer. The very first thing you can do to gain back performance in Windows is shut off programs that run when Windows starts and boots up. These programs are run by default or sometimes are get added when you install more programs to the entries that start up causing you to have to use more of your memory and more of your CPU up to load the programs. So to turn off startup programs in Windows 11, it's super simple. If you go down to the taskbar with your mouse and you right click on an empty space, you'll get a task manager coming up right here. Click on that. And in here, you'll come over to where it says startup apps. And in startup apps, you have entries of programs that run when Windows boots up. These things will run automatically behind the scenes when you boot your system up and it will take up your resources and slow it down. So the best thing you can do is shut these all off. You don't even need these on. For an example, the Xbox app is programmed here to run when Windows starts. I can always open it up as is on my computer when I need to without having it to run automatically saving me performance. So you are actually safe to come in here and disable everything you want in here. You can't harm your computer. You can't make your computer unbootable if you disable every entry in here. There's nothing that you can do to your computer if you shut them all off. You may want to leave your anti-malware or antivirus softwares on the enable state, but that's up to you. So I'm going to just disable every of these entries here. And we're going to go on to the next step. Once you've uh, disabled these entries, and you exit out of it, you can restart your computer and you should gain performance back considerably. So the next step you can do in order to make Windows 11 run quicker is you can run the disk cleanup utility built into every edition of Microsoft Windows for such a long time now. And the quickest way to access Microsoft disk cleanup utility in Windows 11 is to head, hit, hold down your Windows key, hold down your Windows key along with the letter S. You'll get your search thing come up and in here, write disk cleanup. And when it comes up right here, you want to open disk cleanup. You want to make sure it selects your C drive and click OK. You want to make sure you're going in and doing a more advanced cleanup to get back the most performance. So here you want to click up clean up system file. Click OK once more. And this will load up uh, what you can uh, gain back. So uh, you want to check everything here. Sometimes you have like 10 gigabytes of space that can be freed up. I only have 25 megabytes because I routinely run disk cleanup utility every day. And a professional tip, if you want to maintain speed on your computer, it's good to run this app every day. The more you run it, the quicker this will go by. The cleaner the sessions would go by quicker than if you only run it occasionally. And we'll just let the disk cleanup utility run. All right, so that's the disk cleanup utility done. You can also gain back performance in Windows by shutting off some of the visualization effects. This will uh, help you open and close some apps quicker. And you can do that in Windows 11 by right clicking down on the start menu here, or where the four Windows logos are down at the bottom, right click and come into where it says system. Under system, you want to look down here to where you see advanced system settings. And then you'll see a performance section right here. Under the performance section, you want to click on settings once again. 
and you want to click on uh, adjust for best performance, you can click apply. Click OK. And now that's adjusted for best performance. Click OK again. All right. So on to the next step in which you can do to help your computer run faster. There is some services in Windows that are optional to turn on and off if you want to gain back performance. The first one is the user account control. This is a bit of security that helps uh, identify when you're running files and stuff. So it's an optional step, but if you shut it off, you may get a bit faster running files. So we can shut off the user account control optional because it does shut off a bit of your security by uh, hitting the Windows key and then the R key. And you get um, the run box coming up here. You want to write MSC config, like I spelled that here, and then click enter. When the system configuration utility opens, you're going to go over to where it says uh, startup actually tools. And you're going to find the locations in here. It's going to say something about user account control. I think it's going to be in here. Oh, it might not be in this. Oh, yeah. Change UAT sentence right here. You want to click here. And you want to click launch. And go down to never, never notify me and click OK. Click yes to confirm changes. Click OK to close out of the box. The next step we're going to do to help gain back some performance in Windows is shut the Windows search indexer service off. And to do that, that's another simple thing you can do. You're going to head, hold down the Windows key and hit R. And you're going to write services. MSC come in here and you're going to squirrel all the way to the bottom here. When you find that the Windows search right here, right click and turn off. All right, so now we've optimized Windows 11 a bit more. So we can now do a bit more things with the computer to gain back performance. I strongly recommend running a few anti malware scanners, like anti malware bytes, malware bytes, anti malware is a good one to run. And I'm going to put it on here. And another good one to run is ADW Cleaner to see if you have any AdWords slowing your computer down. So to do this, you can go and open up your browser. And I would first recommend to do a search for ADW Cleaner. All right. You're going to come across a link from Malwarebytes website from ADW Cleaner 2025. And in here, you will click on the free download of ADW Cleaner. We're going to run the file, and it looks like this. So this is what ADW Cleaner looks like. You click Agree, and you simply click Scan Now, and let that run a scan. It's going to run a relatively quick scan. That's why I like this software. And it says nothing was detected on the system. Therefore, it's likely that I don't have malware on the computer, but you may. And I'm, so um, this is just a fresh install of Windows, but you may have some if you had a computer for quite some time and you don't frequently run scans. So it's good to do that. And you also want to click up on the orange, try malware bytes protection as well, and download and install. You'll get a 14-day free trial, but there's also a, a thing. But it, it's going to let um, you run a, a scan, at least for this. So we'll go ahead and install malware bytes and malware. You can also get a copy by browsing the web for malware bytes like this. And you can get it off their official website right here. I'll have the link for these softwares in the description box of the video. This is so you can quickly access it. So we're just going to download our copy of Malwarebytes and run it. Click install. Choose personal protection. Click next. You can skip everything else if you don't want all the other stuff there. Let's just install this and run a scan.
Alright, we're gonna click open malware by this up and let it open. It might take a few seconds to open malware bytes at first when you first install it, if you run it for the first time. You want to click scan now and run a scan. When the scan is over, it will allow you to remove whatever it finds. And you just have to follow the positive on-screen instructions to remove things. You can see here, actually, we do have one detection now. So it looks like I do have something going here. So uh, I think that was something I used to try to activate Windows earlier. It's not that much of a threat, but you can see here I have found one detection. When this is done, it will let you uh, remove it. Oh, I've got 10, 10 of them, and it's related to the same thing. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this off the system. It's just going to run a file system scan. Actually, it might take too long for me to like run this whole scan. It can sometimes take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'm just going to... Oh, no, it's done. Never mind. I can show you how to use this once you find stuff. So when um, Malwarebytes actually finds stuff, the way you want to do is take everything and go into the quarantine and quarantine everything. All right, that quarantines everything. Now you're now that's removed whatever threats it's found. You can close out of Malwarebytes. And that's about it. That's about what you can do running Windows 11 and 2025 if you want to gain back some performance. I mentioned at the start of the video, I strongly recommend an SSD drive as opposed to a hard drive for optimal performance in Windows 11. It's probably the most critical thing you can do to get back performance, more so than every step I told you. But I did say I'm going to create this video on how to optimize Windows 11 for free. And upgrading an SSD costs its money, so it wouldn't be a free. Um, way of optimizing Windows if I include that, but I will recommend an SSD drive. So thank you for watching my videos, and I hope you liked them. Remember to comment, write, and subscribe to the, if this helped you.